Yeah, God bless you, Rob Wood here of Rob Wood's Ministries. I want to release a revelation and a message entitled, The Mountains of the Lord. There are seasons where you can and attain and climb the higher spiritual levels, which speaks of the mountains of the Lord. And, you know, there are mountaintop experiences. I'm thinking of Matthew chapter 17, where Jesus takes several of his disciples to a higher place, to a mountain, which speaks of higher spiritual heights. You're looking from a different perspective. You're climbing the mountains of the Lord. And he transfigures before them. His face uh, it starts shining like snow. His clothes transfigure. My God, what an experience of an encounter that these men had with the Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, also in Exodus 24, the Lord tells Moses, come up on the mountain. Come to a higher place, Moses, and just be there. Just marinate, ferment, soak, whatever you want to call it. Stay in my presence. And then I will give you the tablets of stone, which speak of instruction and strategy. And then it says, after six days on the seventh day, the glory of God appeared to Moses. Moses camps out in the mountain for 40 days. The glory of God was there. So again, mountains of the Lord, the book of Micah chapter one, verse three says, for behold, the Lord is coming out of his place. So there are certain seasons where heaven is more active. Jesus said, uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So there were certain seasons where the Lord comes out of his place. It's called the thin place. There's a thinner place between heaven and earth. And, you know, there are certain seasons where heaven will be more active over your life. There will be certain seasons where heaven will be more active over the region you are. There are certain seasons or a thin place where heaven is more active globally. It says he will come and tread on the high places of the earth now. Also in the book of Micah, chapter 4, verse 1, it says, shall come to pass in the latter days, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on the top of the mountains. God once again is putting his church on top. The Lord once again is putting his people on top because the Bible says you'll be the head, not the tail. It said it shall be exalted above the hills. So hills, speaking of obstacles in the Bible, God is going to put you in a higher place above your enemies, above obstacles. Many people shall flow and nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. That of Zion, the Lord shall go forth. So Zion is a mountain in the Bible which speaks of, is figuratively speaking of spiritual heights where we come to a higher place to be with the Lord Jesus. Now, in the book of Joel, uh, chapter 3, verse 18, it shall come to pass in that day, the mountain shall drip with new wine. New wine or wine in the Bible speaks of feasting, speaks of ecstasy, the inebriation of the Lord, the high of God. You know, we don't look for encounters. We don't look for ecstasy, but the joy of the Lord shall be your strength. And it certainly is a joy to be on the mountain of the Lord. The hills shall flow with milk. A fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord. So again, there are certain seasons that the Lord will allow you to be on the mountains of the Lord. Now, in the book of Amos, there's an acceleration coming, people, where it says, the days are coming when the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Due to physics, you cannot reap before you sow. You cannot reap a harvest till you sow a seed. But because of the acceleration of the Lord, it says the mountains shall drip with sweet wine and the hills shall flow with it. So there are mountains the Lord is calling us to possess in this hour. There's the mountain of arts, the mountain of theater mountain, the mountains of drama, the educational mountain, the financial mountain. I believe Lance Wall now has emerged, an emerging prophetic voice, and he's been teaching on this where we've got to dispossess the enemy because he wants to possess these mountains but before we possess these mountains, we've got to dispossess him, kick him off that mountain and recapture it, reclaim it for the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I love restoration and restoring these mountains for the church, for the Lord. But why do we constantly and always give a 
away what once belonged to us in the first place. So again, there's a thin place. There's a mountain. The Lord is calling us to possess it. I'm thinking of Caleb. At the age of 80 years old, he said, Give, I must go up at once and possess my mountain. He said, give me my mountain, which speaks that individually there are people that have a destiny. There's a mountain the Lord is calling you to climb. There's an inheritance the Lord has for you where you've got to climb the mountain of the Lord to get your inheritance. God bless you. I just am releasing the mountains of the Lord to impartation today. Father, I thank you. There are mountains for people under the sound of my voice that you've called people to climb, that you've called them to capture. I believe the mountain of Zion, the Lord's church, God's putting his house on top once again. I believe also you're saying there's a glory that the Lord is saying for you as you climb the mountain of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name.